Please note the special tools and service parts required to perform this procedure. Disconnect the vacuum relief valve. Unscrew the mounting screws and remove the rocker cover. Remove the breather connection sleeve. Remove the fuel rail. Unscrew the mounting screws of the control rod and pump injectors. Unhook the additional starter spring. Remove the rod by disconnecting it from the adjuster lever. Turn the engine crankshaft until the injection cam of the pump injector is with the roller on the base radius. Use a pin to lock the pump in a compressed position. Remove the fastening nuts and take out the pump injector. Make sure you do not drop the ferrule. Remove the spark arrestor located between the injector and the engine head. Fasten the pump injector with the injector facing upwards. Remove the stop pin from the pump injector. Remove the waste valve, leaving the metal gasket in the slot below it. Replace the original waste valve with the special tool screw cap. This cap is like the original, but without fuel holes. Fasten the special tool used to check injection advanced static timing. Connect the base connector to the pump to check pressure of the injectors. Start the injector test pump and read how many bars the injector is calibrated to on the pressure gauge, and whether it is working properly. In this case, the pressure is increasing, but the injector is not spraying, so it needs to be replaced. Fasten the pump injector with the atomizer facing up. Unscrew the injector ring nut and remove the atomizer. Every 0.1 mm in height for the regulating shim corresponds to a change in pressure of 10 bar. Replace the O-rings. Assemble the parts again and replace the atomizer.
Tighten the atomizer mounting ring nut to 70 newton meters. Install the pump injector onto the injector test bench. Check the atomizer works and its opening calibration. If the pressure value is out of tolerance, replace the injector pressure regulating shim with one of the appropriate height. Remove the special tool. Remove the cap and assemble the check valve. Insert the new spark arrestor into the pump injector slot on the engine head. Make sure you insert it the right way up. Insert the copper seal gasket onto the atomizer, applying a coating of grease to keep the gasket in place as you position the pump injector. Insert the pump injector together with the tappet. Before tightening the mounting nuts of the pump injector, line it up with the tappet and the injection rocker arm. Tighten the two nuts at the same time to 20 newton meters. Replace the O-rings on the fuel and waste pipes. Remove the stop pin. Assemble the control rod of the pump injectors. Tighten the mounting screws to 1.1 newton meters. Hook on the additional spring. Install the fuel rail. Tighten the screws to 4 newton meters. Install a new gasket for the rocker cover. Inspect and reinstall the breather connection sleeve. Apply sealant as illustrated. Reinstall the rocker cover and tighten the screws to 12 newton meters. Connect the vacuum relief valve. 